This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about some of the extremely glamorous toilets, cassette toilets and uh, composting toilets in your traditional black tank toilets, various toilets that are used in the RVing industry. I'm using as an example here uh, the Winnebago Echo, a very nice $170,000 plus, uh, you know, motorhome, a very nice one designed to go outdoors and for those that have the active lifestyle that like to go, uh, you know, enjoy mother nature, be it in the desert, the forest or beaches, wherever you want to go. Uh, it's supposed to be four season ready also. What differentiates uh, this unit is that it uses a cassette toilet. It does not use a black tank. Here's a black tank. They come in different configurations, 20 gallons, 25 gallons, 30 gallons, 35 gallons, 40, 45 gallons are not uh, unusually large uh, tanks for black tank waste. So this Echo only has a five gallon, again, only a five gallon tank to hold your, your waste. So you have to dump it sooner than you would, for example, as a, as a black tank. So it only has the capacity of a quarter, a fifth, an eighth of a typical black tank. Another uh, design is uh, called a composting toilet. I really like composting toilets. Uh, you essentially have this material that you add to it called cocoa bale or they also have sphagnum moss and some other materials that you poop into and then you churn it up and it creates this compost material that uh, is supposed to be uh, very safe and uh, smell free. You're supposed to pee in a separate container uh, Though the uh, composting toilet you may last a week or several weeks, uh, the peat container only can last maybe one or two or three days. So you have to figure out where you're going to dump that. Where are you going to dump that pee? Some folks uh, do uh, nefarious things <laughs> to get rid of that pee, okay? So for example, a Lance Travel Trailer has a 45 gallon black tank. This only has a five gallon black tank. Just five gallons. So how long can you stay outdoors with just five gallons uh, in your <laughs> to be stored in your black tank? You're essentially your cassette toilet. So that's one of the limitations I think that you have to consider when purchasing something like an Echo. It may have the uh, image of being, you know, you can go out forever. It has solar, it has, you know, very comfortable four-wheel drive capacity, all this you know, a fantastic bed and storage, and you can bring along your bikes, you know, your canoes, all your great stuff. But how long can you poop in it? You know? <laughs> so I feel the uh, Achilles heel of the Echoes that only has a five gallon black tank. That compares, let's say, for example, to a Lance travel trailer. Pretty much all of them have 45 gallon black tanks. So compare five gallons to 45 gallons. There's a big, big difference. You can hang out like, like these uh, folks out here in the middle of nowhere for quite a while, but eventually that black tank is going to get filled and you can't just dump it on <laughs> National Forest or National Park property in the middle of nowhere. That's not a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea to do that. You have to actually go to some place like a gas station, a rest stop, or a restaurant or somebody's house. So I own one of these and uh, I've been using it for quite a while for camping trips and uh, you have to clean them. It's a lot of work to clean them and of course if you get a one of these uh, cassette toilets you're gonna have to clean it and where are you gonna clean it? Are you gonna clean it at the restaurant or at the gas station <laughs> or at the rest stop? It takes a lot of work and takes a lot of soap and takes a lot of elbow grease. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments regarding my uh, little uh, uh, commentary regarding toilets. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.